Hi Miles, thanks for the footage and apologies once again for the delay. I uh, just had a quite a manic period uh, with people visiting from from other countries, etc. It's been a little bit uh, a little bit busy and manic to say the least over the last sort of uh, last few days. So uh, thanks for the footage. Just a quick recap on or a quick look at the moves that you're making. Um, I think that the movement of the head is greatly reduced. Uh, this is sort of this is your thing, this is what you tend to do. Uh, get the eyes sort of coming back a little bit, get the neck swivelling. Not a major issue as long as it's not done excessively. Uh, we have some footage previously where sort of eyes would be over here, the neck would have swivelled. You know, maybe a good, what are we there, 57. Maybe a good 41 degrees further. So, you know, you're doing a really good job on controlling that. I'd like to see the the pace at which you take the club back. Uh, just reined in a little bit, just to tidy up that P4 a little bit. Just reduce that little bit of a tendency you've got to overturn and get the shaft carrying on uh, too far. So when you don't turn quite as quick, you end up here. And when you take the club to P4 quicker, more aggressively, you just have that little bit of run out at the top. So I'd like to see you just continue working on that exercise that we discussed and that you've worked on before um, the the issue with the head dropping back we can see on this that there is a translation back coming into the hip uh, hip slide is not necessarily excessive uh, what I'd really like to do I, the, the movement back with the head there from face on is because of what we see from down the line so that's really one of where I want to spend uh, this lesson looking at and discussing so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a few different players up or a different player up alongside you and look at what goes on from P4 to P7 ish uh, just before so from P4 to sort of P6.8 really is where we're going to spend our time focusing on uh, this session so we're just going to get a tour player up for you uh, to use as a model or as an example okay so here we've got grant weight at p4 uh, along with yourself at p4 obviously i'm just going to have a look at some differences that we see in transition uh, we look at what grant does during the early part of the the downswing four to five point five right shoulders working sort of down and around so the right shoulder isn't dropping behind him severely it's not coming forward as you'd expect with a good player you know it's never going to work uh, completely forward like that but it's tracing a sort of downward really retracing the journey it took on the way back, it's coming down and around, down and around, down and around. And Grant from four to six, he's getting chest onto the golf ball. So if you consider what the torso is doing, right shoulder works down and around, and the chest is getting, or the player is getting chest onto that golf ball. You will take a little look at yourself. Right shoulder early in the in the in the transition drops back. And works down more than it works around. So forget the hands and the arms for a moment, but the right shoulder's dropping down and back. And at P6, you don't get chest on to the golf ball. Now it's that movement of the right shoulder um, and that sort of that look of the the chest facing the camera for too long that causes the head to drop back. You see the movement of the head against the tree line as you transition. It's not the driving of your hips. Uh, I wouldn't say that you drive the pelvis forward too fast. You just need to consider what that upper body is doing. So the shoulders there are no longer turning on that tilted angle. So there's the angle that you've turned on. P1 to P4, pretty good. We know it gets a little bit long. 
four to five and six. You can see the shoulders leveling out dramatically as that right shoulder works back or down a little bit too much. So consequently, the body stays facing the camera for too long. Uh, we're just missing six there at that point. But you can see how sort of Grant's chest now, his buttons on his shirt, facing the ball. And yours are facing sort of behind the ball. So definitely need to get back into flexion. Uh, I feel like the body is opening up much earlier. Now, as you do that, the tendency is going to want is going to be for you to get the club uh, being pulled out further because what's happening is as your chest stays facing the camera, I'm going to get rid of all your lines now. Your wrists start to uncock, and the the sort of bold condition that you have in the left wrist starts to reduce. And the back of the left hand rolls quickly. So what's actually happening is if, if you sort of if you split the body and the arms up and looked at what the body was doing, what the body's doing is sort of really typical of a player who's going to push this ball way to the right. Uh, a lot of that move is very similar to what you see Tiger uh, doing with driver when he's struggling, right shoulder dropping back, knees sort of squatting, body not opening up soon enough. Uh, but the way the hands are working from sort of, I think you're pretty good at P5, but from P5 to 5.5, accumulator 3 starts to roll pretty fast. Instead of the club continuing sort of under and staying behind the hands, it starts to tumble forward and get too much out in front of your hands. So if you look at the, the path of the hands and the roll of the club face, that's pretty typical of someone who, as you can see there, is going to pull that ball to the left. So th there's a lot of contradiction going on there in transition. Uh, what I'd like to see you do and um, feel is focus on what happens from P4 to P5, maybe 5.5. I want you to feel that the body is opening up much quicker. So the body is unwinding quicker. But I want you to feel like the club is dropping behind you a little bit more. An excellent uh, example of the move that I'd like you to focus on in transition would be Dustin Johnson. If you watch the move that Dustin makes as he changes direction, forget the arm swing, forget the wrist condition. Body's going to open up. Our club is going to drop behind. So body's unwinding, shaft's laying down. Body's unwinding, shaft's laying down. So at P5.5, the club head or the shaft has laid down, but the body has unwound fully or unwound more. Uh, then we see with yourself, so he's back chest onto the golf ball. So the body's going to unwind and the shaft's going to lay down. P4 to P5.5. With yourself, the body stays facing the camera. The shaft starts to lay down, but the problem is now the body's just... You know, the, the, the right shoulder dropping back, that's where the translation comes, that's where the head drops back. Everything else now is just an attempt to line this thing up because if you, if you continued to lay the shaft down, you'd probably hit the ground about a foot behind the golf ball. And if you did make contact, you'd fire it off about 50 yards to the right. So what you do as a more talented player, you start to unleash the wrists, start to roll accumulator three, the back of the left hand. And you put a lot of pull in there at the last minute. Now the problem with that is it's really, really difficult to time. Some days you'll hit it, it'll look great. Other days you won't be able to find the golf course. So we need to consider what's happening from P4 to P5.5. And we want to see the body unwinding more. 
and the shaft laying down. So if you consider the position you're in there, compared to Dustin, Dustin's shaft is lower, so it's laid down more. And he's much more chest on to the golf ball, so we're sort of looking directly down his right shoulder. And we can see far less of his chest. So I'll just run Dustin through again a couple more times just to give you a feel. Body unwinds, shaft lays down. And that's the move that you want to be rehearsing. Um, initially, just get a feel for it. Do it without a ball. doesn't really matter whether you're hitting balls or not when you're doing this. You're just trying to get a feel for what's happening. Body's unwinding. Shaft's laying down. Good luck with it. Hope that helps. Uh, please keep me posted. Look forward to watching this one progress.